Nashville school mass shooter manifesto leaked. FBI and shooter's family refuses to comment. Transgender school shooter in Nashville had a fierce loathing for little something and white privilege, according to her leaked manifesto. According to the Post Millennial, the three-page handwritten letter was first discovered and made public by the right-wing YouTube program Louder with Crowder. Revealing that Audrey Aiden Hale, 28, carefully planned her final moments as well as the mass shooting at the Covenant School on March 27th. Before the police shot and killed Hale, three small children and three members of the school staff had perished. The manifesto was written in a spiral notebook with different ideas and heavily racial language jotted down. And on one sheet, Hale drew a pistol and a target. Target. Ridicule? I don't know what that is. Scribble the world's death day along with the date 32723. Targeting crackers with white privilege. Want to kill all you little crackers? I hope I have a high death count. I'm ready. I hope my victims aren't ready to die. The day has finally come. Hail continue. I can't believe it's here. Don't know how I was able to get this far, but here I am. I'm a little nervous, but excited too. I've been excited for the past two weeks. There were several times I could have been caught, especially back in the summer of 2021. Hale further stated that she hated kids who went to fancy private schools with those fancy khaki sport backpacks and daddy's Mustangs convertibles. According to a search warrant, officials found 20 notebooks, 5 computers, a suicide note, and other notes written by Hale during a search of her home she lived in with her parents. They also found 2 memoirs, 5 Covenant School yearbooks, and 7 cell phones. Over the summer, local and federal authorities with access to the manifesto refused to make its contents public. Despite most mass shooting manifestos going public within hours following an attack, if one was made. As this matters is being addressed by the courts, the FBI will not be commenting on the report documents. FBI Memphis Field Office Public Affairs Officer Elizabeth Clement Webb wrote in an email to Daily Wire's Greg Ree. Hale's family also released a statement through their attorney on a leak saying, I represent Mr. Ron and Mrs. Norma Hale. We've never seen a manifesto at any time. We're not in a position to authenticate these pieces of paper. We have absolutely not released anything, but we certainly did not release this. It's inappropriate for me to make any further comment about it. Nashville Mayor Freddie O'Connell said in a statement that the city has opened an investigation to how the leak happened, which all but confirms the authenticity of the pages. Authenticity. I have directed Wally Dietz, Metro's law director, to initiate an investigation to see how these images could have been released. The investigation may involve local, state, and federal authorities, deep, deeply concerned with the safety, security, and well-being of the Covenant families and Nashvillians who are grieving. Nashville police stated back in August that the manifesto was in the process of being released, telling Fox News Digital. The investigation has progressed in the point where the Covenant shooter's writings are now being reviewed for public release. The process is currently underway. Now, back in March, FBI officials had stated that they would release the manifesto to the public after a highly skilled team of criminal profilers could analyze it. However, it's been nearly eight months since the press release and no follow-up from the unit was ever given. LGBTQ organizations also attempted to prevent the manifesto from being made public in the spring, citing concerns that it could harm those who identify as trans and encourage imitation killings. Okay. And that is not how you spell it. Let's try it again. Louder with Crowder.com. Is that a thing? It is a thing. It is a thing. All right, so they've obtained exclusive access to the Nashville Covenant Shooters Manifesto. They got three pages of the Nashville shooter, Audrey Hale's alleged manifesto. 28-year-old uh, twenty-eight year old man going by the name Aiden entered the Covenant School on March 27, 2023 in Green Hills, Tennessee, killing six before being shot and killed by responding officers. Manifesto detailed thoughts Haley had leading up to what was referred to as Death Day, as well as the timeline in which the shooting would take place. Some comments from Audrey Hale can't, uh, I'm not going to call the dude Audrey, so 
let's just call him Hale, I guess. So Hale can't believe I'm doing this, but I'm ready. I hope my victims aren't. I hope I have a high death count. Kill those kids. Going to fancy private schools with fancy khakis, we read that. Want to kill all you little crackers, bunch of little faggots with your white privilege. There were several times I could have been caught, especially back in the summer of 2021. Might be 10 minutes top, it might be 3 to 7. It's going to go quick. And he's publishing the three pages along the way to Nashville Transgender Mass Shooter Manifesto. Three pages of the manifesto were exclusively attained by Mon Mug Club Undercover. Okay, so here's the one page. Here's the one page. Death Day. The little gun at the top. 32323. Today is the day. The day has finally come. I can't believe it's here. Don't know how I was able to get this far, but I am. I'm a little nervous, but excited. Been excited for the past two weeks. There were several times I could have been caught. Can't believe I'm doing this, but I'm ready. I hope my victims aren't. My only fear is if anything goes wrong, I'll do my best to prevent something of the sort. And then in parentheses, God let my wrath take over my anxiety. You're asking God to help you commit a mass shooter of fucking, a mass shooting of children? Yeah, you're clearly fucking demented as shit, dude. It might be 10 minutes, it might be 3 to 7, it's gonna go quick. I hope I have a high death count ready to die. All right, let's see. Later schedule for death day. 7 a.m. get dressed. 7.05 to 8.55. Something that's covered up with stuffed animals in possession. 9 a.m. eat breakfast at home. 9.30, home with a heart around it. 9.30 a.m. Pack up special belongings and backpacks. 9.50. Test. Knife. Test. Knife. Core glass breaker. Dad's old cars. Ten a.m. Leave for Royal Range. 19 to 20 minutes. 10.22. Gear up and set up guns in the trunk. Assemble and get out the rest. 11.20. Final videotape. Where's the videotape? She's got a videotape? Eleven thirty-five. Leave for the Covenant School. Twelve. Arrive at Covenant. I can't really see. Let me try to make this bigger. Hold on. There we go. <clears throat> twelve p.m. Arrive at Covenant. Check parking for security at twelve o five. Arrive in designated parking space. Arrive in designated parking space. That seems weird to me. What do you mean arrive in designated? Designated by who? Who designated the parking space? That seems weird. 12.05 to 12.10, prepare for attack. 12 something crossed out, lock and load all weapons. 
12.33, open fire towards Swinferns. And then time to die. Kill those kids, those crackers going to private fancy schools. Fuck you, little shits. I wish to shoot your weak ass dicks with your mop yellow hair. Want to kill all you little crackers, bunch of little faggots with your white privilege. Fuck you, faggots. That's crazy. Oh, I guess we could have just scrolled and read the actual transposed instead of reading it off the uh, manifesto directly. But that's absolutely nuts, dude. That's absolutely nuts. But it doesn't point to um, some kind of profound ideology or something like that. It's literally... a uh, you know, psycho brainwashed lefty. Um, because who else believes in white privilege other than stupid lefties? Because uh, I'm white and there's no white privilege. I can tell you that. I can tell you that. Uh, shout out to Louder with Crowder with getting the exclusive drop of the manifesto. Um, everybody has been waiting for that to come out for a very long time. So the fact that they were able to drop that as an exclusive, uh, is a, a big, big deal. It's definitely a big deal. But, um, yeah. Crazy fucking trannies, bro. Doing crazy shit. Doing crazy shit. Well, shout out to everybody who's tapped into the live. We appreciate you. Make sure you thumbs up uh, on the screen if you can. doesn't cost you anything. It helps me, though. So give me a thumbs up. That helps. That definitely helps. We're going to be uh, getting into... I don't know. I don't know. I had something planned, but when I jumped on, Amik started sending me stuff. Centra sent me that. We got into it. Now I kind of forgot what I was going to go over. So, oh well. It is what it is, I guess. We'll, uh, we'll figure out something new. But apparently my YouTube vacation is over as of today. When I logged in today, it said that I can now stream on YouTube, which we're not going to do. Because I have two strikes on the channel. Which means if I get a third strike, they delete the channel. So I'm going to have to be very careful about the videos that I post until one of those strikes dropped off and I'm no longer on the bubble of losing the channel. So we won't be going live on YouTube at all until um, we get a little grace period with the with the strikes.